Hey guys, Eagle Run 2 3 here. I did not buy very much for gun things over the Christmas sales, but there were some pretty good sales on the market. I'm, I'm gonna sh I'll show you a couple things here. Um, there was a deal that I saw, I think on Twitter, and I did not know those were threaded until just now. Interesting. Okay, so there was a deal from a company, I believe it was called Cross Armory, if I'm not mistaken, and they had these barrels for like $59. And I have a giant box of Polymer 80, um, Lone Wolf, Gosh, who else is over there? Um, I have an SCT. There is the GST Mod 1. I have a bunch of frames. Um, not even going to say how many. Um, more than this many. And they all are going to need barrels. They're just frames. They haven't been built. They're just pieces of plastic right now. But you guys know that we have been kind of playing with this little guy right here. This is the white frame that I've been waiting on. Um, I believe it was over two years I've been waiting on this frame. They're not available, but I got one. And so when we ordered it in, we thought FDE would be kind of cool. And then I remembered I have this really, this is a strike industry slide. And if you want just a, a basic slide that is freaking super cool and has great looks, great function, Strike makes some of the best slides out there. They're probably my favorite. Um, I'm going to get one in black. I don't have a black one. This is the only one I have. This is, I, I just absolutely love it. I think that it's going to look really stinking cool on this white frame. But we were talking about it and we said that we think we should get that Strike Gold barrel. The only problem with the Strike Gold barrel is it's over $200 just for the barrel. And when I saw these guys doing a $59 barrel, they also had a gold barrel. Now, this is not really the right color of gold. Let's get it out and look at it. Not really the right color of gold. It's it's kind of, uh, kind of orangey looking. Um, I don't know what you guys think about it, but it's not really what I had in mind. I was kind of looking for a, something a little glossier. But let's set it in there and just kind of see what we think. Officially, these are my first threaded barrels. I've never had threaded barrels. I did not know those were threaded. I would have probably chosen unthreaded, but whatever. Whenever you have a threaded barrel, I believe it is against the rules of P80 Ralph to have standard height sights. You must have suppressor height sights if you're doing a threaded barrel. I believe that is against his rules, but... Um, I don't know that this is what we're going to go with. I don't love that color of gold, but it kind of gives you an idea. If I had a gold trigger, um, I can't do black here. I got to do FDE or gold for my, you know, accessories, my mag, mag release trigger, um, pens. I can't have black pens on this. They're going to have to be gold. I think, I don't know. What do you, what do we think about that? It's, it's just, it's not the right color of gold in my opinion. I don't think this is really a TIN coating. Uh, I think it's a faux TIN coating, but we will find something to do with it nonetheless. Let's just, let's just look at it here and see what we think. Um, yeah, it's not doing it for me. <laughs> I think I would rather have black or FDE. I guess I can throw a black one in there. We will do a, a red dot on this. Uh, if I can find an FDE red dot or if we can get one coated. So this black will go away. I think that's polymer anyway. It is polymer. This black will go away. I can't, I can't do a black barrel. It, it's got to be a gold barrel, which means I'm going to have to spend $200 on a strike barrel. I was hoping that the cheap option, by the way, this was like, 69 or 79 dollars so we'll have to find something to do with this i'm sure we can not really worried about that because we've got so many projects we can switch stuff around with plus kind of nice to have extras um now these black ones i know that i'll use 
Gonna have to get ourselves a thread protector. You could do a FDE thread protector. I know Strike makes those. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Um, I think gold is the answer, but wait, I don't even know why I'm worried about this. This is so far down the road. I can't even process having to to do a pistol build right now. We, we are neck deep in so many projects. Um, yeah, so anyway, got a good deal on those. The, I'm sure they're not the highest quality, but I think um, especially the black ones, they'll be okay in there. I, I, maybe I'm a little bit regretting that I, that I spent money on this cause I would have been halfway to a strike barrel had I had not bought this, but, um, we'll, we'll find something for them. And maybe give me a thumbs up. If you want to see this build, jump up the order a little bit. Uh, we're working on the, the eight inch blackout, uh, 8.6 blackout, the short barreled one. Um, ordering frame and receiver from SLR. Uh, that'll be coming uh, probably in the three, four week range. Uh, gotta go through an FFL. My FFL is out of town. Um, so anyway, we're working on that. We got also gotta get those Cerakoted. I don't know if I'm gonna assemble the gun and then Cerakote it or maybe get it fully operational and then take it apart and Cerakote it. I don't know about that. I've never done that before. Um, Maybe I'll get with my buddy Boom Country and see if he has a suggestion on that. If you should just go for it or get it running and then get it Cerakoted. Um, we're also working on reloading for the Grendel. Uh, that build is done. It is a beautiful gun. I, it's by far my favorite gun. It's not necessarily my favorite gun to shoot, but it's just so beautiful. And then uh, we're going to be doing some long range with another buddy who lives here close to me. It's actually a guy that I met in the reloading aisle at Cabela's here locally. We talked for 20 minutes, exchanged numbers, and uh, we've been texting and calling each other uh, probably for six months now. So we need to go. We're going to go shoot together. Uh, and then I have um, our buddy Nate is coming to town, hoping to hook up with him on a hog hunt, uh, bring him out to my property. And then um, what else is going on? We still... I was going to go hog hunting actually today, but because I kind of lost my voice, wasn't feeling very well, had a bunch of other stuff to do with the family. I just couldn't go. Um, maybe we can go next week or I don't know. We'll, we'll, we're going to go hog hunting again here very soon. Uh, I also am going to be testing a lot of this ammo. I've got some interesting things to shoot with 8.6 blackout. You can go watch people shoot all sorts of stuff. Demolition ranch. They blow stuff up with calibers that you've all seen before. But there's not a lot of people shooting 8.6 blackout at things. And I've got some interesting things that we can test um, what explosive power that caliber has. So anyway, I'm rambling, guys. I'll let you go. Eagle Run 2-3. Make sure you're subscribed. We'll see you on the next video.